So in this video I'm going to do the unboxing of this e-file and we are going to compare both of them. Uh, they look pretty similar. Um, they both portable as well. <clears throat> and normally I'm working with the Seiyan K38 which has the handpiece SH300 and that's the speed of the 30,000. Why this one says it has 35,000 speeds. So uh, I'm kind of like, hmm, it should be quicker then. But yeah, let's see what we've got in there and then we compare both of them. Obviously, this one is a fraction of the price uh, compared to the Seiyang one. Now, I don't want to damage my nails because they're just ready to be infilled. They look really bad because I have just clipped off the crystals and I'm going to do the rebalance to create this set. There is a tutorial on that as well. So it comes with the user's manual like all the drills do. That's not interested in me. Then I can put that, take that out. So you can see it is slightly bigger. Now that must be a hand piece and that must be a charger. So let's start with the charger so we can put it on the side. Okay, it has it has UK UK plug, so I'm really happy about it. It has some bits and they useless. Like honestly, guys, you can just bin them or you could use them for pedicures. I find they really great for pedicures, like um, you know, smoothing out a wee bit of the hard skin but no for the nails like they they no use and usually I don't use the stand as well so that can go on the side now the most important part obviously is the motor and the hand piece and let me see actually it looks pretty nice wow wow so from the look of it I would say it looks much prettier than the Seiyan K38 because that's my handpiece and it's much lighter much lighter so they kind of both similar this one is much lighter and I think it's prettier okay so this one I have to peel it like this to open the places for the bits put it back in close it much heavier oh my goodness the weight is so it's a huge difference okay so you twist this one as well to put it on but the difference I feel it's much lighter, but it feels more, it is metal, but it's a much lighter metal. Feel kind of like a plastic-ish, why this one is, I would say it's more solid. But this one is prettier, I love like, but we will see. Okay, so this is the hand piece and this one has a plug like this, this one has a plug like this. And most of the Seiyan K38 comes with those kind of spring Cables. I'm not the fan of them. I actually quite like my straight cable because uh, it's really long and I can just keep it tight uh, so it doesn't take too much room. But let's see what we've got in here. Okay, so the voltage it says actually it will be nice to compare it as well. Uh, okay, not much information. I've got it in here. Uh, okay, I'm not able to compare it. I'm useless. But yeah, let's see what this one has. So I can pull this away, connect the handpiece. So the handpiece comes in here. Okay, it has two sides just in there. And now let's test it first of all on some cuticle bit. Because I want to compare the speed and like if the drill has vibration, because this is really important. If the drill has vibration, it is no use for the nails. If the drill is stopping, it is no use for the nails. Okay, so to put it on, okay, you just turn it. So basically you just turn that in and then the more you turn, the bigger speeds you've got. Why on the Seiyang you've got the button you press it on then the e-file comes on and then you put your settings so see here you can hear I'm putting on 10 it works nice and quiet like I would say I mean there is some noise but it's not too bad uh, and there is no vibration 
Now let's see what this one is going to behave. So I put it forward, reverse, and then go into the 10. Okay, it doesn't have vibration. It has slightly quieter sound. But, um, yeah, it doesn't have any vibration. But let's see how it is going to work on the cuticle. Sorry, I'm going over my skin so I can press harder to see if the machine is going to stop. And it actually doesn't, which is pretty good. Speed 10. Of course, the most important part is how we remove the gel polish, and I will show you guys as well. Okay, I've got the feeling this one actually goes a little bit faster, even if it is a speed 10. And the maximum it has is 30, and that's the speed goes on. And then this one has 35. Let's hear it. So that's on 35. It actually sounds pretty good. But anyway, let's see it, how this is going to remove the product. So I will start with my usual E38. Put this on the side so that doesn't get over it. I'm actually surprised because uh, I have bought some other e-files and cheaper ones as well before I got the hand of it. And it was a waste of the money, like spending, you know, 50 pound, 100 pound. And then after a couple of months of use, they go to bin. Why this one lasts me like, you know, years, years. I always service the handpiece. Uh, once a year and it does last me years so i'm going to put the speed 12 just so we can see exactly the same same thing i've got my e-file bit and i'm going to file it so to see how this is going to behave okay so it is the, going to take a long time on the speed 12 now i'm going to put it on the speed 18 And the file doesn't stop, it removes nicely the crystals, nice and quick work. That's why I love it so much. These needles really don't look nice because I peeled the crystals off them and they have been on for six weeks. But they were pretty. Okay, that's my nail filed. I can just remove all this mess. Actually, I'm thinking maybe for even for tutorials in a house, I will get some extraction because it will be very handy. And now let's file this nail with the other hand piece. So we had speed 10, did we? No, 12, 12 and 18. Cameraman, yeah, <laughs> it's showing me the fans. Yes, yes, that's how it was. <laughs> okay, so let's. Let's compare it. So I'm just taking my safety bit out, put the e-file on the side. I really don't want to damage it. So put it far away, no dust over it. And I love the portable e-files because you can guys store them in the, you can store them in a drawer. So this way they don't get dusty. Okay, so put it on 10 first. 12, 12 sorry, thanks. 12 first. My goodness guys have you seen that <laughs> that's a nice surprise wow we had the wee guest and wow okay when i file i can feel a little bit more vibration but the file is doing a nice job really nice job let's put on the 18 because i want to see those vibration like It's actually pretty good. File around there. And yeah, I think I would say it was a really good buy, much cheaper. Now the only question is, sorry, I need to remove this dust. The only question is, how long this is going to last me, this e-file. Because uh, you don't want to waste your money on the 
on the machine which even if it's much cheaper you want to make sure it is going to last you so what i'm going to do guys before i will put this video up i'm going to test it for a good few weeks in a salon like heavy duty you know manicures pedicures uh, to make sure it is lasting and i will write you honest opinion in the comments below because before i recommend anything i really want to make sure i mean obviously i'm using kind of my name to sign underneath of that um for a for a first look and the use i would say i'm very happy i'm very happy with this if i like i'm happy i got it and i will be using it and if it's last the same decent amount of the time uh, i would be really hardly recommended it to anyone especially for the beginners because you like i mean the k35 we're talking about like a few hundred pounds mark like 300 299 pound to get this set um, and this one is like you know four times uh, four times cheaper so uh, it is a big difference in the price uh, but we will we will see in a couple of a uh, couple of the weeks time i'm really going to heavily use this e-file and I let you know in the comments how long it did last me that I had any problems with the motor broken down or with the hand pieces uh, broken down uh, or if it was good and reliable. I hope you have enjoyed watching this um, comparison tutorial uh, on the e-file uh, and I will see you next time. Glittery hacks and bye for now.